so uh, good evening all of you this is praveen and today we are back again to take some of the common queries in actuarial science so first of all i would like to ask you all uh, that whether you are having any queries uh, regarding the course or any clarification on a one to one basis any sort of clarification which you all need from my end yes pushagra sir uh, i am a student from commerce okay and my subject elective the optional subject i have is applied mathematics okay so the foremost query i have is do applied mathematics students still have the opportunity to appear for so can you please tell me what all things have you studied in applied mathematics like have you studied integration differentiation yeah matrices yes. integration calculus differentiation sets all that, such that topics is, that are still there that is sufficient that is sufficient you just yeah. hold on just hold on okay so yes uh, mostly you require calculus and uh, uh, you require little bit of uh, class 11 basic concepts like logarithm is there exponential is there indices power is there so all these things are required so a student from applied mathematics so he or she can do because that trigo part is not there complex calculations and all are not there so yes definitely you can pursue the course that is not a problem yes next question So anyone? Yes, Akshat. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. In which non-traditional areas do actuaries also work? Okay, so non-traditional by non-traditional, I can say uh, they work in the data analytics domain. Okay, basically analyzing tons and tons of data into useful information. You can work as a credit risk in the in a bank as a credit risk manager or a credit risk officer. Okay. so basically nowadays a lot of modeling teams have been developed so you can work in catastrophic modeling like for example bridge gir jana okay baad aa jana terrorist attacks so basically calculating the uh, financial loss which might happen due to these uh, catastrophic events you can work as a trader okay you can work as a trader you can work as an equity analyst as a finance analyst okay you can work in the risk uh, department uh, of any finance organization you can work in the bonds department okay like a company which deals in bonds basically loans and all so all these are the non traditional roles where you can work okay apart from that something where your uh, knowledge is applied so for example uh, you might be uh hired by a company uh, which involves a lot of number crunching okay where math stacks statistical softwares are applied for example r programming coding is there okay so you can be employed there consulting firms like pwc eny and kpmg deloitte they also hire us okay so these are the areas where you can work definitely insurance is there pensions are there okay so they are definitely having reinsurance companies are hiring so these all are the avenues yes next any any query which you would like to ask any any questions sir if a student from uh, commerce background can also the pursue for actuarial science whether See, it would be the name is actuarial science but it's not that i am from commerce background my first qualified fellow is from a commerce background so the commerce thing don't restrict that it is science so uh, science students can only do this course it is not like that so many of the students they are from commerce background like if you see mostly 50 to 60% are from commerce background so that is never a problem you just need to have a good hold in mathematics that is the primary uh, criteria which i feel oh, 
and sir uh, if we have means less knowledge of means not proper knowledge means we are not uh, competent at the differentiation integration and matrix determination then what means we See, have basic knowledge uh, we when we teach anything we cover it from the basics okay, okay. so whenever we are teaching anything we cover it from the scratch so uh, what happens is you will not be feeling that you don't know um, any basic concept and definitely for all the students those who are joining us we are having a basic mathematics and statistics course for them and that is absolutely free where you are taught the basic integration the basic differentiation logarithm permutation combination so actually you you uh, like you will not feel that uh, you are having any friction while solving the sums which are uh, like which are having these concepts okay so everything is taken care of in detail and plus what we believe is let's suppose if you are not having that much confidence in differentiation or integration then we'll teach you na it will hardly take us around 3 to 4 days to teach you integration or differentiation or whatever it is and then you know the concepts which can be applied in almost all the exams it's like that so we are based in calcutta but we have classes span india so you can basically take lectures live online recorded more but for physical we are only in calcutta okay sir okay <laughs> i am preparing for acid after that which exam should i choose uh, see uh, shiva what i will tell you is uh, like can i hear something about your background like currently what are you doing you are in college or you are in class 12 i am in college i am in delhi university i uh, i am currently doing economics honors from from shama prasad mukherjee college delhi okay. university okay so what i would like to add is Uh, you can go for CM one, and you can take our classes. So what happens is, if you start for CM one now, you will get a lot of time. Your exam is in September, and uh, simultaneously you can take classes for ASIP because students, uh, those who are registering for any paper, for them uh, ASIP classes are absolutely free. It is free of cost. Okay, so if you are registering for CM one, so you will get ASIP classes for free. So you can simultaneously prepare for CM one as well as ASIP. So it will only cost you the CM one cost, which is thirty thousand. And since you have a lot of time, so prepare for CM one and ASIP. And in ASIP, whatever we teach, that is sufficient because it is totally a mini CAT type of syllabus. That is logical reasoning, data interpretation, verbal ability, maths, stats. All these things are there, right? So uh, we have a comprehensive coverage in almost around sixty to seventy hours. Plus mock papers are there, which will help you to crack ASIP in first attempt. And you can simultaneously prepare for CM one as well. So yes. where is your coaching center? Uh, your... It's in Kolkata. It's in Kamak Street. And if you are from Delhi, then you can take live online classes. So the students, those who are taking live online classes, we'll also be supplementing it with uh, recorded lectures as well. So it's hundred percent recorded, hundred percent live online for you. And we'll be like providing you with all the sorts of study materials, mock papers. Everything and the fees that we charge is till the time the student doesn't clear the exam. Okay, it's like that. Okay, so yes, she's asking, sir, we should pursue from IIA or IFO or both. So see, now the both uh, thing is uh, not existing because uh, none of the institutes are giving exemptions to each other. So either you need to pursue it from totally from IIA or from IFO, right? So, uh, like, let's say, suppose if you are pursuing it from IEI, then you might face some difficulties. Yes, I guess you are a chartered accountant as well. You had a talk. Yes, sir. So for you, I will be suggesting that you go with IFOA because you have a work to manage, a full-time work, and with full-time work, I will suggest IFOA will be comfortable, so you can attend multiple papers. So for you, I will be requesting you to go for CM one, CS one, and the CB one. You can go for these three papers for the September attempt because you already have the basic knowledge, and you need to take the training, and you can enhance your knowledge, and you can give all three exams in the month of September. But if you are going with IEI, ASIT is exempt, so you can go for CM one and CS one because CB one okay. is also exempt for you with IEI. Okay, sir. Yes. So please feel free to ask any any question. Uh, which you feel is necessary to uh, like clear your doubts in actuarial science curriculum, because we already have two sessions and uh, we have our full career counseling session posted, which we took it with uh, Lady Sri Ram College. So, if anyone of you is having any sort of query, now see the board exams 
uh, I guess they are uh, from April end if I'm not wrong. Some are having their board exams. So I'll I'll suggest you something. So if your board exams are ending by March end, okay, or maybe by April mid, then you can go for CM one. And if they are ending in May mid and onwards, or maybe May end, then you can go for CS one as your first exam. Okay. So CM one roughly takes one month more than CS one as your first exam. Okay. So if you are taking CM one, then your exam should end maximum by April mid. April mid or maybe April end. May is also comfortable. May June July August. We are having four months of time. But if your examinations are ending by May end, then go for CS one as your first exam. This is what a piece of advice that I would give to all the students present here. And don't uh, does IFOA provide study materials? Answer is no. Uh, IFOA uh, it only takes the examination cost, which is roughly twenty thousand if you are appearing as a non-member, and you can purchase the official study materials from Acted, but they are very expensive. Like the material ranges start from thirty thousand, forty thousand, and if you wanna purchase all the set of materials that we provide you. It is going to cost you roughly half a half, maybe maybe one and a half lakh rupees or something like that. Okay, so basically we will be providing you with all the sorts of materials because the materials that Acted provides are very expensive. You want to take the combined materials pack. You need the revision notes. You need the paper B material. Then you might need the flashcards uh, for a quick revision. Uh, you you also might need the mock papers. And uh, you also might need the training courses as well. So roughly, if you add up all the cost, it is uh, roughly uh, around one lakh or maybe one point five lakhs. I haven't calculated the cost, but it's really very expensive. So you can just take the coaching, and you can register with IFOA for your exam. So you don't need to buy the study material from IFOA. It is not mandatory. But from IEI, it is mandatory to buy the study material, and in IEI, the study material cost is roughly eight uh, thousand to ten thousand, depending on which paper you are uh, like giving. So in IEI, the total examination cost is roughly fifteen thousand, and in that you have a cost of around six thousand rupees, which is the examination cost, and around nine thousand rupees, which is the material cost. Okay, sir, our UG college also. See what I will recommend you is Avinash Kumar. Uh, first, look out for what you need to do. Like for example, if you need to do Eco Honors, then go for Eco Honors. If you need to do Maths Honors, go for Maths Honors. So, what my preference will be Eco Maths Stats Honors. These three are preferred courses. But if you need time to study, if you need full time time, uh, so BSc Maths Honors is a very good option. So now, what I will recommend is rank your college. So let's suppose you get around ninety five percent. So which is the best college in that? Look for that and go for that. Definitely your college tag will always matter. Whether you are going for a job or maybe for an MBA afterwards, your college tag is very important. That is what I would like to say. And your college marks are also very important. So all these things add up little by little. So let's suppose if you are a student of uh, Sri Ram College of Commerce, this will add up ten points. So if you are getting around eighty percent plus, this will add up again more ten points. So basically, all these things add up, and you always need to look for the best combination. So uh, if you want to do BSc Maths honors, and uh, whatever percentage you are getting, look for the best college that you uh, can go. Okay, that you can uh, basically go for, and then take admission in that. So that is what my advice is. Don't think like this. I will go in a college. Uh, in which uh, there is no attendance, so I can get full time to study. This is a very wrong concept. College life is very important. So if you are getting into a good college, it adds to your CV, and it is really very important. So, Sir, I have heard that uh, there is coding and R programming also there in the curriculum of Actuarial. Yes, yes, R programming is there, but it is not difficult. We are teaching R programming from the scratch. Okay. So in the next gen environment, which you are moving towards, like you will graduate after three years, right? So in this kind of dynamic environment, two things are very important. One is Excel, 
and the other is coding which is our programming and all these and both these two things are included in the curriculum so i'm very happy that these two things are giving you the required practical knowledge so whatever you are studying in the textbooks you are also applying these in the softwares as well so it is very important part to basically get industry ready and job ready in ca also you see there is a three years articles of mandatory before you get the ca degree right so the more you learn about these softwares the better you have the chances of converting a job so definitely maybe it might be difficult for some but things uh, won't be valuable if they are not difficult this is what my say is so we are teaching our programming or maybe excel from the scratch so i don't think so that is much of a problem to you how would bsc eco analytics complement the course yes devansh if you see the course content is mostly about eco math stats finance banking insurance okay and analytics we have a uh, paper b we have excel and r programming in cm1 cm2 cs1 and cs2 again we have a paper on communications uh, which is given on ms word it is cp3 again we have a paper of modeling which is cp2 so definitely this course is giving a lot of importance to softwares like excel and coding like r programming okay so definitely your bsc eco is going to complement the study content because in bsc eco also you are learning about economics finance banking and in this also you are learning the same thing okay so definitely it will complement to a great extent yes akshar sir can we become an entrepreneur after studying actuarial science there is no such relation between an entrepreneur and the professional course which you are doing okay so even if you become a chartered accountant even if you become an mba even if you become a doctor like we see doctors opening up good hospitals and there good entrepreneurs in running the hospitals so basically entrepreneur is something different so what i feel is it is not it is no way related to actually and no professional course basically helps you uh, to become an entrepreneur ki bhai mereko agar entrepreneur banna hai to mereko ye wala course karna hai so it's ne- it's nothing like that it's all about your personal experience your mindset your innovative skills your cost management skills your time management skills okay your resources your network all these things are about that okay so i don't think that even if you, not only saying about actuaries even if you do tens of courses it doesn't guarantee you that you can become a successful entrepreneur it's not like that it's all through a personal experience yes, sir you told that ifo is better can you tell me what was the reason okay so basically since we are working so we not get much time to study yeah. the first thing that i would like to add is uh, i have been i have for you generally need to study a little bit less compared to ia since uh, you are already working so it's not that you need to wait for your graduation and uh, you need to clear this much number of papers only before your graduation for you now the game is clear as many papers as early as possible So I will always recommend you to give multiple papers. To give multiple papers, you need to devote time to the studies, right? And like IEI will be comparatively difficult when seeing about the pass rates. Okay. So basically, you are having a full-time job. You are earning from there. So you can afford the IEI study, which is not that much expensive uh, compared to IEI, and you can save a little bit of time. So let's say suppose if I give it from IEA, I will not recommend you to give three papers from IEA. But if I give it from IEA, for seeing the level of hard work that you might have done when becoming a CA, I can recommend you three papers from IEA. So, you, so the chances of you becoming a fellow actually is more and earlier in IEA for when compared to IEA, seeing the past results okay. and the quality of paper. Yes, sir. <laughs> Please switch off your my ha. So, is study material of class eleven twelve enough for preparing particular? See, uh, being very honest, class eleven and twelve doesn't help you prepare for ASET Kushagra. Uh, the the content actually is very different with what it is asked. It is an MCQ based exam first of all. It is a speed test, so you will be given a lot of questions which you need to answer in a stipulated time. Definitely, some of the topics might match. but uh, for aset if you need to prepare full fledged i will recommend you to go for training because it is the basics part which basically helps you to enhance your mathematical analytical and statistical knowledge 
which you can apply in the further papers so if the foundation if the base is not strong then you cannot build up the floors right so your foundation should be very strong and acid is also known as the actuarial foundations exam okay so your foundation should be very strong so for that i will recommend you to go for training it's not that expensive like acid it's uh, 4000 i guess uh, which you have paid and 7500 is the acid training cost in which you are taught everything okay everything from scratch plus you get to know about the paper pattern what to study what not to study in a defined timely manner and you also get to have an experience how your acid exams are conducted because we have uh, mock test platforms which is very similar to to the uh, indian institutes one okay so basically your experience is very important so this basic stats one is recommended if i want to research in the science arm yes it's very good like stats on us is always recommended because all the analysis means stats so if you are doing stats on us it's a very 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 good option from my end will sir will exams uh, be conducted online or offline brijesh currently both the institutes are conducting their exams online okay so there is no further update that how will they be conducting the further examination but as per my knowledge uh till the times things don't uh like uh, become absolutely normal now things have uh, now things are absolutely normal so now we can expect that from next term onwards uh, they might be having physical exams so basically it is expected from their end so what would be your doubt solving see basically what happens is almost all the sums are solved in the class only so first of all it is very less probable that you will have a doubt because last 15 uh, years basically 30 terms of questions are solved in the class but still if you are having any doubts for working professionals we are having doubt classes in the weekends also okay so basically you can attend those classes and you can solve your doubts there is also a, a group discussion forum where all the students of uh, paper wise students are added and you can post your doubts in the group and you will get the solutions so that is also a doubt solving mechanism that we have it's a very good thing so devan channel's bsc equal analytics as bsc stats and uh eco and analytics eco analytics stats and analytics is a good is a good combo okay so either eco analytics or stats and analytics both are okay both are okay from my end yes mokshita yes uh, so our board exams will get over on 7th june and it okay. will be starting from 13th may to 7th june okay. so what will be our next step uh may i know uh, from where are you talking like what is a little bit about your educational background yeah i am currently in class 12 from udaipur rajasthan and okay. i have commerce with uh, mathematics okay okay so what i will recommend is once your board exams are ended you can join us for the exam of cs1 as i already mentioned so you can join us for cs1 and you can give the exam of cs1 in september the one best thing that we have is if you are fully prepared for the exam and if you are confident enough then only we will be telling you to go and appear for the exam or else we'll carry forward your fees to the next attempt so basically it is not term wise fees it is paper wise fees so till the time you don't clear your exams we'll be basically giving you complete guidance recordings live classes till that time you don't clear your exam so you plan your september attempt with us of cs1 and by chance let's say suppose your registration are going to start from august onwards so if at that point of time you feel that no i am not fully prepared you can just give me a text that sir i want to defer my attempt to april 1 but the probability will be actually very less okay because it is actually comfortably manageable in 3 months okay so you can go for cs1 or else you can go for cs1 in the april attempt also if you think that uh, no i am not fully prepared for the september attempt but don't waste your time start with the classes it is very important so for which exam i should start preparing my board exams are ending at today aniket pawar i will recommend you to, i will recommend you to go for cm1 okay so we already have a batch of cm1 running in which we have done around 5 or 6 classes so by month end we will be doing around 2 uh, 3 classes more so you can join our cm1 batch so it's the best thing for you okay 
Yes, Devansh. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, would you recommend IAQS as a college for BSc in Actuarial Science for my undergraduation? See, um, can you know a little bit about the details, like what the merit calling and? Yes, sir. I am from Jaipur currently. I have mm -hmm. commerce with maths. Hmm. And my board exams are also end around that. I guess uh, June seventh, and I had. Okay. I'm average. Okay, see, math. I'll I'll sum up things in a very simple manner. I'll make things simple for you. So basically, one thing is clearing your exams, and the other is doing some BSc courses. From there are lots of institutions uh, which are uh, giving these BSc courses. Okay. some are promising you that yes they are going to give you exemptions and some are not promising you that they are going to give you exemptions okay so now the best thing is to give the exams and to clear your exams the best thing like you appear for the exams directly from ifoa or iei and you clear the exam this is the most valuable thing that you can do okay now comes the bsc courses why i will not recommend you the bsc courses is for example you get a very high score in your class 12 then why are you restricting yourself by not going into the top colleges in india for example nm srcc hansraj hindu st xavier's okay so basically why do you want to go for a bsc see college may you can learn about eco math stack stacks maths commerce subjects so it is good now you are having a diversity in your profile okay so it's not like if you do bsc then only you will be saving time or you can do it in a nicer manner it's not like that it's not like that and i have known some of the cases where these institutions are promising that they are giving exemptions but the exemptions are very difficult to get and in lieu of that they are charging really very high fees like i i as far as my i have some students so the total cost is roughly 6 lakhs okay and if you take the coaching for all the six exams it is going to cost you roughly 1.25 lakhs and 1.25 lakhs more for giving the exams so roughly it takes you 3 lakhs of rupees to basically uh, do all the first set of seven papers including the coaching the exam fees everything and you can simultaneously go into the best college in india okay so why do you want to restrict yourself So let's say suppose you are not able to get into a good college in India, then think of BSc in Actuarial Science. And the most renowned in BSc Actuarial Science is Amity Noida. And the reason is their placements. The reason is their placements because uh, Amity Noida is really having some good placements, and they are doing it since years. Amity School of Banking and Insurance and something something is there. So if you are considering, then consider Amity because they are having good corporate connect. Okay, and they will help you uh, to get a good placement after graduation. Placement is very important, and if your college is not good, you will not get the placement. That is also very important. Okay, your college helps you to get a good placement. so go for a college where you can get good placements and that is only possible in the top reputed colleges in india do a good bachelor's degree okay go a, do a good bachelor's degree from top college and along with that clear actual paper that is the best thing it looks very easy that go and take admission in any of these uh, bsc courses which they say that they are going to give you exemptions but ask from their students are they actually getting the exemption do a market survey first okay and they might charge you very highly and ultimately after 3 years you will see that after so much of effort also you are not getting the exemption and one more thing that i would like to add is one more thing that i would like to add is 
for the exemption you again need to pay the cost try to understand you are paying the money to the bsc course degree college you are not paying any money to ifoi then why will ifoi pay you the exemption i mean why will ifoi give you the exemption so to get the exemption again you need to pay a fees which is equivalent to the exam fees to ifoi for example you go and book a cm1 exam it costs you 20000 so if you take exemption of cm1 from ifoi you need to pay 20000 as exemption fees so when it is a costly affair so why will you spend so much of money take the training clear the exam take the training clear the exam it is what 80% of the people do don't fall for any of these things the best thing is to clear the exam by appearing for the exam okay sir for sensible what is the cut off for eco uh, srishti jain kolkata eco zeviers is very difficult uh, the cut off is uh almost 100% because maths is counted twice okay they take best of four so for example best of four you have got 98% and in maths you have got 100 so your total score will be 100 plus 98 which is 198 and in best of four you can take maths again so the most important thing to get into zeviers eco is mathematics okay so the cut off generally is 198.5 199 sort of like that okay srishti jain any other specific query you can switch on your mic and you can ask sir i have finished 11 20 uh i guess you are a, you are you are in class 12 right now so not now after your class 12 exams i will recommend you to start the course manya singh okay so once you appear for yes, your sir. class 12 yeah can you tell the success rate of indian students pursuing the course so roughly ifoa has a standard passing rate of 40% 30 to 40% and iia is having a passing rate of 20 to 25% on average so what is the difference between cfa and actually so cfa is started financial analyst dealing in equity portfolio bond or in the finance selection okay so basically equity analyst finance analyst and actually is deal in risk management finance banking insurance etc okay so basically actually is uh, has more basically probability of uh, making you employed than cfa because actually is in 13 levels and comparatively difficult course than cfa so that is that's basically the thing okay so actually is is uh, uh basically moving towards your risk management insurance pensions banking finance okay trading okay and uh, cfa is uh, basically equity analyst finance analyst portfolio management okay. derivatives trader uh aniket okay so avinash is having a i guess i have a few more questions so what are the chances of actual science being overtaken by see devansh jain i don't think uh, it's a question worthy enough uh, uh, what i feel is there is lots of automation but what human mind can do automation cannot all the uh, like repetitive jobs you can automate by automation but in actuarial science we don't do repetitive job ki bhai last year ka jo premium tha wo is saal ka bhi premium rahega aisa nahi ki koi human dimag lag hi nahi raha aisa koi baat nahi okay so it it cannot happen definitely work can get automated maybe if a firm might need 50 professionals then will now need 35 professionals but by the time things happen there will be more insurance companies coming in more job opportunities coming in alternative forms okay non traditional roles so basically now the demand is very healthy and stable that i would like to add this is the thing an automation agar hota hai to wo koi bhi field mein aayega to basically disrupt karega market ko theek hai so it is not only about actual science it is basically uh, valid for all the roles it is valid for ca it is valid for mba it is valid for cfa okay to a certain extent not for 
बेसिकली एकदम ही खत्म हो गया वैसा नहीं होता सफर टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक रीनू दे आर कंडक्टिंग एंट्रेंस एग्जाम नेम्स यूसीजी अटैम्प्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एसएससी प्रिपेयरिंग टू गो अविनाश व्हाट आई थिंक इज नाउ देयर इज नो एज सच क्लियर कट सिलेबस गिवन फॉर सीयूसीटी सो आई गेस इट विल बी ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर टू व्हाट एसएट एग्जाम्स आर सो कीप प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एसएट दैट विल हेल्प यू इन सीयूसीटी एज वेल अनिकेत दिस थिंग यू नीड टू सर्च फॉर द वेबसाइट of college in kolkata like there is bhawanipur college there is st xavier's college okay there is uh, uh for boys there is goenka college of commerce okay so these are the colleges where you can search and all these things will be mentioned in the uh, specific college website only so for eco honors what are the other options other than xavier's uh, srishti this thing i feel that once your marks are out then we will discuss because there is no limit to it the best thing is srcc eco or maybe miranda eco or maybe lsr eco for you but getting those marks are very important right so now as per your marks we can rank the colleges uh rajesh you can check out in my website i am mentioning the website in my chat box it is www.actuatorseducation.com So you can go to the website and you can check it. So any more questions which you would like to answer, we'll definitely be keeping more sessions. And please be active in your uh, mail ID because we're sending you all some important mails regarding our webinars. today we had one for ca okay so we'll be keeping more webinars for data analytics cs cma to keep you all informed about all the courses that are happening okay so what would be the annual package of fully qualified actually uh first thing that i would like to say is the fresher actually around 4 to 5 years of experience a minimum salary of 30 lakhs and then with experience you can gain more and more this is about the indian markets but if you move abroad definitely your pay package is going to be 2x or maybe 3x because there the actuaries are very highly paid sir how to see if actual is the course uh for mahima i would like to say is uh you can message me in my personal number i am going to send you a playlist which i have prepared okay this is my number so i have prepared a class 12 career guide okay so uh, in that i have put all the basic videos regarding the course there are around 10 to 12 videos which you can see and then you can decide whether this course is for me or not and at least you can try one paper okay so by studying for the paper then only you will be able to understand try one paper giving as a, a non member that will not involve much of a finance okay and then you will be able to make out that yes this course is for me or not about the difficulty and everything there is no trigonometry vectors in this uh, like actually is okay in entrance exam there might be a uh, little bit knowledge about these but as such there is no trigonometry vectors etc in uh, actually Yes, Akshar. What you can do is just a little bit change. First, give your board exam, start your actual training, and once you get your class twelve results, uh, then you can apply uh, for colleges. Don't sit and wait for your class twelve results. Start after your board exams with actual exams, okay? And then uh, wait for your class twelve results and do the training for actuaries. and apply for colleges don't wait till the time my results will not come i will not go for training it's not like that don't waste your september attempt i am good in calculus but average in pnc what is pnc permutation combination mahima it's not like that mahima what i would like to add is 
little bit these things we can improve okay we can basically improve these things we have a basic course and that is absolutely free for all the students who are joining our institute so all these things can be improved in one week or two so these things are not much of a problem okay and please keep your mail ids and whatsapp active we'll be sending you messages so that you can be updated so avinash i am having a list of these colleges in my uh, video just message me a hello in my whatsapp number i'm going to send you which undergraduate degree you should select uh, i'll just just hold on i'll just uh, yeah I'll, i'll basically give you the link in whatsapp only so i'll just share the link with you okay i have made a video on this so i'll share the list with you so thank you all of you for joining us we'll